Have you ever heard of reciprocal giving? It's why we're called humankind. But how does it work? Let's go find out. I just have to do the dishes first. Ooh, I'll have to do this later. Hello? How are you? Science is a superpower, and in this episode, we're exploring the science of kindness. Is kindness a science? It absolutely is. It's the science of chain reactions. When someone does something nice for us, we automatically want to reciprocate. But how does this work? Let's look into this with the help of my friends from Melbourne Museum and ScienceWorks. Welcome to the collection store at ScienceWorks. Thank you so much. Given that we're surrounded by vehicles, I thought I'd bring out a little robot who's really excited to meet you. <laughs> awesome. Hi, Holly. Ooh, hello. Hello back. <laughs> What's the plan? What have we got to do? Well, I want you to get the robot from where we're standing yeah. to that little red tick over there. I've programmed a code. When the robot sees different coloured cards on the ground, it's going to do a different thing. Okay. So your challenge is to place coloured cards around here. And no hints, I've got to work no it hints, out. No okay. hints, no hints. How about an orange? An orange. What happens when we go, go. Oh, it's gonna come at me. What does a blue do? All right, let's try yellow. All righty. Come on, come on, come yes. on. Yes, yes. Yay! So what have we just seen? The robot has been programmed to respond to the different coloured cards, which we can then use to tell it what to do. Of course, we tell our computers what to do every day, with the click of a mouse, by typing on a keyboard, and even by using our voices. Computers are programmed to follow our commands. A program is a set of instructions that tells a computer what to do if it's given a specific input, like seeing the colour blue. They can only know what to do if it's written in their code. Of course, humans are a bit different. We make our own decisions about what to do, and we must make thousands of choices each day. Every decision we make has an impact, sometimes tiny, sometimes large. Hey Claire. Hi Holly. So I've got a challenge for you today. All right, what have we got? You're gonna make a bee hotel. A bee hotel. I've never heard of a bee hotel. So you need a pipe with yep. an end mm -hmm. and then a series of sticks that can be hollowed out. So cane or bamboo, something like that. Mm -hmm. You wanna cut the sticks so they're about 15 centimetres. Yep. And you want them to have node at the end that closes. And then the holes need to be about three to 13 millimetres in diameter. Okay, and any tips for building my bee hotel? Do I just put them in sort of like that, one by one? Just put them in and in the end, you want it to be pretty tightly packed in. Now, I've got to admit, Bee Hotel and this whole configuration doesn't feel like the hexagons and the honeycomb and the beehive that I know in my head. Um, is this a different type of bee? So the bees that most people think of and see around Australia are actually an introduced honeybee. Australia's native bees are quite different. We have about 2,000 species, but 99% of those okay. don't produce honey. Wow, so they would live in a configuration like this. They'd sort of have their own individual hotel room, so yeah, to speak. Yeah, so they're solitary or semi-social bees. Okay. It's nice to shelter them from strong winds. It's nice to have a north-facing hotel so that they can get the warmth of the morning sun as well. So how important are bees to all the beautiful plants that we see around us here? They're so important because they're the primary pollinators for most of Australia's flowering plants. And so what would happen if bees disappeared? They pollinate 75% of Australia's food crops. Wow. So a lot of the foods that you're used to seeing, like apples and avocados. No kidding. So we should all be making bee hotels and helping the bees out. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Well, thanks so much for teaching me about bees and for helping me to build my first ever bee hotel. No problem. 
Kindness isn't just about being nice. It's about the way that we connect with each other and the impact that we have on the system as a whole. Every choice that we make affects many more living creatures than we can possibly imagine. How we treat people and how we treat the environment.